Today we are going to study VI characteristics of SCR. Okay, this is the kit for the VI characteristics of SCR. I have connected a load over here. That is my lamp load because it is not internally connected. Then here I have to connect an ammeter of 0 to 50 amp and uh, this is to measure the anode current let us so this is my ammeter connection look at the rating it is uh, just a minute it is 0 to 50 amps okay then i have connected a dmm a single phase variac or a dimmer stat this variac will give supply over here so we will connect these two probes over here this is my supply from the variac and here this is connected to the SCR's anode terminal so anode current is measured here with the help of this ammeter and to the gate terminal of the SCR I will connect one more ammeter to measure the gate current look at the rating it is 0 to 5 milliamp okay and this is a single phase variac 0 to 270 volt this is my dmm that is a digital multimeter i shall set it to ac voltage look here it is set to ac voltage okay now this complete circuit diagram i have drawn it over here Okay, and here the ratings also I have mentioned whenever you draw a circuit diagram do remember to write the ratings it will be simple for you it will be easier in the examination here this variac is giving input to the diode rectifier and here this uh, load is connected we have used a lamp load then to it is connected an ammeter in series which measures the anode current of the SCR and one more ammeter is connected to the gate terminal of the SCR here you have the pot using it just set the gate current to 3 milliamps just a minute i will turn on the kits first the kit and the variac and then set the we will take two readings for gate current 3 ampere uh, sorry 3 milliampere and 3.1 milliampere so here i have set my gate current here i will increase the voltage with the help of variac and I will take a close look at my load see the lamp has blown and the voltage which I have got is near about 50 to 53 volts okay uh, you can wait for some time till your voltage settles down all right so this is my first reading this the current of course the uh, first i will measure the current now see here between 20 to 30 there are how many lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 whenever you have 10 lines at that time what you have to do is 30 minus 20 that is 10 10 divided by 10 means one line is of one unit so how many lines are there one two three and four means it is near about 24 milliampere so my this current is 24 milliamperes all right and my voltage was near about uh, 52 something now if you measure the anode to cathode current okay so, uh, just a minute if you measure the anode to cathode current for it so for that what you have to do is just a minute it has now settled there was some confusion it has now settled to 34.9 okay so sometimes it happens so you have to take the value where it settles actually you need to set it at uh, 200 milliamps so then it will settle it to this value all right 
see it we are about 34.9 to 35 it has settled now there is one more column see here it is vak that is anode to cathode voltage whenever your scr goes into conduction it works as good as a short circuit means your voltage will come out to be round about zero but ideally it is zero practically it cannot be zero so just a minute you can measure that value also you just have to sit to some dc voltage and First switch off everything, then only you should touch your apparatus. Here. So now this is my cathode terminal and this somewhere is my anode terminal. All right. This is just I want to show you that you know, how it comes out to be nearer to zero. If you don't mention it in your uh, observation table, also this time. So this is three, and see here. See here again. The lamp has grown. And look at the voltage it is something 0.7 it's very very less so that is what i wanted to show that it is just nearer to zero okay and this we have taken for one reading you can avoid it if you want then the next is again you need to switch off because whenever you have to make any changes in the connections kindly switch off the dmm uh, sorry, your uh, variac and the kit. You need to follow the safety precautions also. And next, again we come out here at AC voltage. Okay, now connections remain the same. Just check the value of gate current. Switch on check the value of gate current see here I'm just making it to 3.1 ampere okay set it to a value of which I'll show you yeah it's clear now it's 3.1 ampere sorry milliampere so this is my 3.1 milliampere now i82 for i82 i need to yeah this is the point where my lamp has glown let me check the voltage it has settled to if you select 750 and you are getting problem you can select it to 200 volt you will get the answer soon and proper so it is 28.89 so you can take it as 28.9 volt okay and current is say 21 milliamps yeah round about it is 21 milliamps so and again if you want you can check out for VA2 also but it will come the same value so we are done so first put this to zero switch off both the kits and the DMM and this is how it the your observation table will be this will again be near about something to point something so here basically what we have observed as you increase the gate current okay look at the voltage required for your lamp to glue it 
is lesser okay so this is what we have observed and this is how our scr is all about you have to plot the gate current the supply voltage you have you have the anode to cathode current and this is nearer to zero because this anode to cathode terminals the scr behaves as good as a short circuit ideally we consider its voltage to be zero but practically it is not a zero so that is what i wanted to show you through the experiment i hope it is clear thank you very much